everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Violet. And I'm Ruby. And today we're taking a look at a, a game about the greatest of all pets, the cat, called Boop. <sighs> okay, so I guess this is a thing nowadays on the internet where you're like, boop, you know, boop. Okay, you don't like that. But apparently cats like to boop or something. Anyhow, it's a, a game about cute cats booping each other on a board. But let me tell you before you jump and scream and turn off the YouTube channel, um, this is actually a very mean, vicious, back and forth, mean and vicious, no, it's kind of mean and vicious, abstract strategy game. You think so? Not really. I mean, it's hard mean to and dramatic vicious between cats. maybe characters. The cats are all like, little cute, and then the characters, and the people who are playing there are just like, die. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Well, here's how it plays. We'll be right back. At the beginning of the game, each person has eight kittens. These are your active pieces. You have eight cats, but you do not have access to them at all. On your turn, you place a kitten on any spot on the board. Uh, if you place the kitten next to any other kitten, you boop that kitten one space away from you. And this happens to all the spaces next to you. So let's say I went here and boop this kitten up. The gray kitten can place one here, booping this kitten right off the board and this one down here. Now this is important because if I place an orange kitten here, he cannot boop these two. When you have two in a row, they can't be pushed. Now I could still do something like this. Um, and the, that would be a bad move for me because then the gray kitten would go here. Again, since there's two in a row, they won't be booped. And if you ever make three in a row of kittens, all three of those kittens are removed from the game. You throw them into the box and they're replaced with cats. Now, if you happen to have all eight of your pieces on the board, you can turn any kitten into a cat. But you're going to replace these with cats. Now, these cats, though, don't go there on the board. Instead, they're just going to go into your active pool. So now you can put a cat on the board, and a cat will boop kittens. But more importantly, a kitten cannot boop a cat. That's not possible. Although eventually, if you get a cat, this cat here, for example, would boot a kitten and a cat. That's the game. You're going to be just placing pieces, booping them, trying to get three kittens in a row until you get turn them into cats. But once you get three cats in a row, you win the game. Or if you manage to get all eight of your cats on the board, doesn't matter where they are, you also win the game. A couple notes here. You can see the wooden piece are really nice. This is actually kind of mattress material, very thin fabric here. It's a little squishy and it fits inside the box. Um, the rules themselves, are just a couple pages of rules and they explain a little bit about you know some strategy for the game and that's how you play okay did you like the theme of booping cats it's cute yeah i really liked it that's like, about it, it, it <laughs> that's about it. it it's a cute theme uh there's nothing else really to say well you like the board don't you because it's like soft fabric board sure and the kittens turn into cats. Does it? It reminds me a little bit of like those merge games, like uh, you play sometimes the merge dragons. You put three dragons oh, and they yeah, merge yeah. into another one. Yeah, stuff like that on online. It's sort of like that, except what you turn three small kittens into three cats, not one cat. And it's hard to put them next to each other. It is because whenever you put a piece down, it boops the other pieces away. So you're thinking of, I need to put this piece down and boop it next to one of my other pieces while you're definitely attacking your opponent, trying to push their pieces off the board. I never did that, obviously. I would only block them if they were like about to win. And just... You wouldn't push people off the board on purpose? No one here does that. It's such a waste of a turn just to push them off when they're so far away. Now, I did find that the first person to get three cats is a nice advantage, because you just start throwing cats on the board and pushing kittens, and the kittens can't push back and get the cats. So you definitely want to be the first person to get three in a row. But it's not particularly hard to get three in a row. Getting three cats in a row is where it's at. This kind of game, it says on the back 20 minutes. I think that's pretty close to correct, right? Yeah. I mean, and, and the rules are pretty simple. That This reminds me, Smirk Deck, this is their second abstract strategy game where they've done this, where it's like a really simple game and yet kind of a deep a deep game involved. There's a lot of choices. Strategy. It's like um, uh, checkers. Where you, it's like it seems simple, just like kill the other characters, but it's also really interesting and fun. 
Yeah, I wonder if like the name Boop is going to attract people. Then they play it and they go, "Oh, this is different than I thought," because it doesn't seem that way. This oh, is. Yeah, that was, uh, I was like looking at that. I was like, "Oh, is this like a cute card game?" <laughs> it's from Scott Brady, um, who did um, the a, a color party game last year or a couple years ago. So this is a very different game from him, but it is very similar to, like I said, their last game called Shobu. If you like Shobu, I think you would like Boop. So what are your final thoughts on it, Ruby? It's a cute theme. The game is overall really fun, easy to learn. It's actually really fun to play, which I was surprised by. Why? Look at the cover, Violet. What were you (laughs) expecting? I thought you liked cute things. I mean, yeah, I just wasn't expecting a game I actually really liked. Eight and a half. Eight and a half, all right. Yeah, I really like I really like the game. I like, like, the board and how soft and cushiony the, um the board thing is i don't know what to call it uh, the thinnest Platform? mattress on earth Platform? you can use it as a pillow at night a hundred of them oh i liked um the cats the, i like the designs they were like really cute and i definitely like the interesting play style where you like move one cat and you have to like strategize how to get your cat into a certain area and while also sabotaging everyone else in the same turn you don't waste one turn sabotaging a player. It's just a waste. Okay. Had oh, my. That person. This is not a time to lecture. Yes, it is. What's your rating? Uh, I would give it an 8. I really uh, like this game. All right. I'm also giving it an 8. Um, this is a very straightforward game. Um, and we've seen games before where you put a piece down and it pushes other things. Um, and then we've seen pieces getting three in a row. I'm not know, sure if I've seen the combo like this done. And... I think this one's going to do very well. Actually, I know it's already been doing well in stores because people like the idea of booping cats. And then, like Ruby says, they're like, and it's actually a good game. That's a good combo. I look forward to seeing stuff from both Scott Bradley and more abstract games from Smirk and Dagger. But anyway, that's uh, boop. I hate the name, though. I really hate the name. Don't ever boop me. Anyway, until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Violet. And I'm Ruby. Woo!